How's it going, guys? Today we are going to paint the Wiz Kids Moser's Marvelous Mangers Treant. Uh, start off, uh, I've base coated the entire model with P3 Umbral Umber, but any just really dark brown will be fine. And I also painted the rock that comes with them the same. So, first up, we're going to use some P3 Battle Dress Green. It's kind of a, a greenish uh, brown. And we're just going to dry brush the whole thing. My brush isn't super dry on this because there's not much difference in the two colors. Basically just enough that you can notice a difference and see where it's being applied. But it's not going to get chalky. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the whole thing and we'll come back for the next step. Alright, so we've got the whole thing dry brushed. Now we're going to come in with some P3 Hammerfall Khaki. And this time I've dried my brush out very well. So we're going to be much more sparing. And this will really bring out the details. We're just going over it a lot quicker than we did before. And this time I'm not going to do the undersides. But just a quick highlight. go we'll let this dry we'll come back for the next step all right that's all dry now so we're going to take some secret weapon handle wood and we're going to paint this top part of his head that looks like it's been sawed off at some point we're just going to fill this in And that'll probably take two coats. And then there's another little part right here where a branch is broken off. And anywhere else where you see where branches have broken off. So I'm gonna go around, try to find them all and fill them all in and we'll come back for the next step. All right, so I let that dry after a second coat, and then I gave all of them a little wash of Citadel Seraphim Sepia, and that'll bring some of that detail back in, especially in this larger one. Moving on, we've got some P3 Ordic Olive, and we're going to paint his beard. This is a nice mossy green color. And the mustache. So it won't hurt to leave a little brown showing through. All 
All right, there we go. We'll let that dry. Come back for the next part. All right, our beard's dry. So now we're going to go with P3 Bog Moss. And we're going to dry brush some of that on. It's not making too much of a difference, really. So we need something a little bit lighter. So let me grab Let me go with the P3 Worm Green. This has got a much higher green saturation to it. I think uh, this will help bring out that green a little. There we go. All right, we'll let that dry and come back for the next part. Okay, next step. We've got some P3 Minoff white base. We're going to paint all of the little uh, mushrooms or fungus that are around his legs. And get the undersides as well and he has several of these on here so I will go ahead and base cut all those and we'll come back for the next part all right I gave all those two coats and then we're going to use some army painter soft tone wash and just give them all a quick douse of that Already done the others. And then I also used that uh, Mammoth White base to fill in the whites on both of his eyes. So now I'm going to take some Game Air Black. And get a small brush. And give him some eyeballs. Lighting is not working with me right now. But basically just doing like a slit straight down in the center. Probably have to go fix this one off camera. And uh, I'm going to fix that and then I'll come back with the next part. Alright, so I've got the eyes to where I'm happy with them. And while that was drying, I took some wooden, uh, Woodland Scenics Large Foliage Clumps and some 50-50 water and Elmer's glue. And I soaked them completely and then kind of squeezed out the excess. So these will take probably a day to dry, but hopefully they will harden up. And I've got some extra of the glue here. I've got a small flat brush. I'm going to wipe off most of the glue and just kind of stipple some on. 
And here I've got some colored flock. This is like a mixture of a few different colors of flock. There's yellow and a couple different greens. And then I'm just going to tap some of that in there. And then tap it off. So leaves a nice little moss on there. The main thing is just don't use too much glue. You just barely want to wet it. And we'll put a little on this leg. As you can see, it doesn't take much at all. And then we're going to put some in his beard too. Give it a little texture. Now if you have an airbrush, you can take your airbrush and kind of help blow away some of the excess. Put a little more moss on this side. Just don't overdo it. You don't want to cover the whole thing. Unless you do, then go for it, I guess. But yeah, I think we're good with that. So. I don't normally do the uh, basing parts, but for this one, uh, I think the base is really going to help sell this. So I'm going to go ahead and do my standard easy uh, basing method, which you can find in one of my early videos. And then I'll come back when we get to that point. All right. So uh, while the uh, clump foliage was still wet with the glue, I just kind of pressed it on to all these branches and it hardened up nicely and uh, seems like it's going to stay on there so if they fall off I'd try maybe some super glue but so we've uh, finished the base uh, according to my um, basic basing video and I decided to just incorporate the rock that came with him into the base. I didn't like the way it looked in his hand. So I just stuck that on there. And now I've got a selection of different tufts. And we're going to use a bunch of these. Usually start with the big ones first. to use a toothpick to kind of press it down this one seems to have lost its adhesive let's try a different one next to that and here we've got a flowery one you can watch my video on how to make those put it right in front And 
uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, adding these, and then we'll come back and see the finished model. All right, so here's our finished model. I'm really happy with how he turned out, and uh, you know, he's relatively, relatively a uh, really easy model to paint. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. We'll see you next time.